Hello guys, welcome to Romta Solutions. Welcome to Grade 12 Euclidean Geometry. And today we are looking at Theorem 4. Theorem 4, which says that triangles with sides in proportion are, are similar. similar. Okay. okay. Now, now, the, the statement, statement of this, this theorem, theorem <coughs> is that, that it says, says if, if corresponding sides, sides of two, two triangles, triangles are in proportion, proportion then, then the, the two triangles, triangles are similar. Are similar. Of course. course. Whenever, whenever you use this reason, whenever, whenever you use this theorem, theorem you, will you will say sides, sides of triangles, triangles in proportion. proportion. Okay. okay. So, so remember, remember with theorem, theorem 3, three we're, we're proving, proving that we are, we are basically, basically proving the triangular, triangular triangles are similar. similar. This, this was, was one, one of the conditions of similarity of triangles, triangles that if triangles, triangles are similar, similar corresponding, corresponding angles must be equal. equal. Now, now, we, we are, are proving, proving um, this, this one here, here that, that says, says uh, uh, when, when sides are in proportion, the triangle, when two triangles, tri with two, two triangles, triangles with sides in proportion, those, those two triangles, triangles are similar. similar. So, so the, information the information that we are given, we are, we are given two triangles, triangles ABC and DEF. And we are given the fact, the fact that, that side AB over DE, DE as you can see, see these sides are corresponding, right? They are corresponding, corresponding sides. sides. It is, is equal, equal to AC over but df, DF as, as you can, can see they are also corresponding. corresponding. It is, is also, also equal, equal to bc over ef. bc and ef are corresponding sides. sides. However, I want, I want you to, to underline so, so to understand, understand it. Corresponding, corresponding would mean that you are on the same, same side and then, then a proportion would mean two, two ratios, ratios or two fractions, two fractions are equal. equal. Okay? okay? Remember, Remember the, the first, first video on proportional on proportion. Ratio proportion. proportion. So, so we are, are using, using that. that. So, so two, two sides, <coughs> sides or other corresponding sides, sides are in proportion. If you take AB over DE, it, it must be equal to BC over EF. In the same way, it must be equal to AC over DF. This is what we mean by proportion. And by corresponding, we mean when you take the side, you must take a side that corresponds to it in another triangle. Okay. okay. So, so here, here we, are we are going, going to prove, prove we, are we are going, going to prove that angle A is equal to angle D. D. We are also, also going, going to prove that angle B is equal to angle E. E. And further, we are going to prove that angle C is equal to angle F. F. So, so, without any waste of time, time let's get, get into, into our proof. proof. So, our, our proof, proof, we will say, as then first. We begin, we begin with, with the, the construction. construction. Okay, okay, we begin, begin with the construction. construction. And I will, I will say, say to you, draw GH such that AG is equal to DE and AH is equal to DF. Now, let, let me show you what, what I mean. Let, let me copy, copy this. Triangle, triangle here. here. Okay, copy it. Now, and let me paste, paste it here. here. Okay. Paste, paste it. it. Uh, let me duplicate it here. And this, this one, one here, here, I'm going to make it a bit smaller. smaller. Okay. okay. All, right. All right. So, so this, this was A, B, C. And this, this was D, E, F. F. We said draw GH, GH such that AG is equal to DE and AH is equal to DF. Let's see. Let me draw it here. It's a straight line. Let's say this is GH. Okay? So we said AG is equal to DE and then AH is equal to DF. Can you see that? Perfect. Perfect. Now, now, let's, let's prove. prove. So, so we're, we're going, going to take, take one, one of the proportions, proportions there. there. For, For example, example, I want, I want to take AB 
over D E is equal to A C over D F. This is given, so my reason is given. As you can see, we are given A B over D E is equal to A C over D F. Okay. Now, I do see D E and D F. And that's something, something that I said, I said about these guys. guys. So, so allow me to say AB over, I have said, DE is equal to AG. Let me call it AG. Again, AC, I do see DF. I had said DF is equal to AH. Now, let me write it here, AH. Now, why am I saying this? This is because I had said DE is equal to AG and then AH is equal to DF by construction, right? By construction, right? By construction, okay? So, remember, I'm substituting DD now because I had said DD is equal to AG. I'm also substituting df because I have said df is equal to ah. Can you see that? My construction statement here is it. Can you see it? Okay, perfect. Now, I see something here. I want you to pay attention. I'm saying ab over ag is equal to ac over ah. Mm. Wow. I remember, I remember a theorem, a theorem like, like this. this. I remember, I remember a, theorem a theorem like this. this. Do you guys, you guys recall that theorem? But it was the reverse of it. it. Right? I Meaning it was, it was the converse of it. So, so this, this is, is the converse of that theorem. Right? This is the converse of that theorem. If you recall the proportionality theorem. Right? It was saying a line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle divides, divides the, other the other two sides, sides in the same, same proportion. proportion. But the but converse, converse, you move backwards. backwards. Right? With the, the converse, converse, you move backwards. This, this line, line that is drawn, drawn we see that it divides this in the same proportion. proportion. Right? right? Therefore, Therefore, what does, what does it, mean? it mean? It means it the third line, line, the line is parallel to the third side of the triangle. So basically, this is giving me the converse of the proportion theorem. Okay? So, if that's, if that's the, case, the case, remember what, what I'm, I'm saying. saying. I'm saying this, this will therefore imply that GH is parallel to BC. Okay? okay. So therefore, therefore, oh boy, boy let me use, use that color. color. Therefore, therefore GH is parallel, is parallel to, to BC. BC. Why? Why? You can, you say, can say it's, it's size in, in proportion. proportion. Right? Right. If, you don't, if you don't want to say size, size in proportion, proportion you can, can say converse, converse of proportion theorem. theorem. Okay? okay? You can say, can say converse, converse of proportion theorem. theorem. Right? Right. You can't right. say, you can't say this, this is proportion, proportion theorem, theorem because when we, when we started, started this, this, there was no information regarding whether GH is parallel to BC. So you can't say it's proportion theorem, but rather it's the converse of proportion theorem. Okay? Or if you don't want to say converse, you say size in proportion. proportion. Right? right? Now, now if, if that's, that's the case, the case note, note, we have said these, these lines, lines are parallel. parallel. So, if so if these lines are parallel, are parallel you will agree, you agree with, with me that AGH will be equal to this guy here. Let me show you. I mean this here will be equal to this here. This here will be equal to this here. Right? right. Now let's look at it. So, so therefore, therefore we'll say a G angle A G H is equal to angle B. What's the reason? These are corresponding angles. Why? Because we said G H is parallel to B C. Remember, guys, Kokoyal is fine. Kokoyal is fine, meaning corresponding angles make an F shape. Cointeria angles make a U shape. Alternate angles make an N shape. I hope, I hope you remember, you remember that, that in the morning. morning. Okay? okay. Perfect. Perfect. Now, now, we can, we can also, also see that, that angle AHG is, is equal, equal to C. C. 
and what and is, what the, is reason? the reason? Again, Again this, this is E H C. This angle here is equal, is equal to, to angle C. C. What's the reason? Again, Again they are they corresponding, corresponding angles. angles. They, they make an F shape. Can, can you see that? that? So, so these are corresponding, corresponding angles, angles simply, simply because, because G H is, is parallel, parallel to B C. C. <coughs> right? right? Simply, simply because, because G H is parallel, is parallel to C. C. Right? right. Now, now, having, having said, said that, that um, if you if like, you as, like well, as well, if you, if like, you like as well, as well you, can you can say angle A is equal to, to angle A. a. Why? Why? Because, because it's, it's common, common, common angle, angle where? where? In, in triangle, triangle A, B, B C, C and, and triangle A, G, H. H. You can, you say, can that say that if you like. If you like. All right? All right? So... so our conclusion, Our conclusion, we can, can now, now conclude, conclude and, and say, say if, 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 that if that is the case, is the case we, can we can conclude and say, and say this therefore means triangle, triangle A, G, G H, H is similar to triangle A, A because I see angle A is equal to A. A. We said so angle G is equal to B, B. B. is it? And of, and of course, course angle C, C will be equal to H. So. I want, I want you to, you pay, to attention pay attention to the, to the order. order. What, what, the, the order, order of your of triangle, triangle is important, is important when, you when you consider considering singularity and congruency. So, what, so is, what the is the reason we say AGH is similar to triangle APC? It's simply, it's simply because, because we used, used triple, triple A. a. Okay? okay. <coughs> it's, simply it's simply because, because we used triple, triple A. a. Or if you don't want to say triple A, you can say they are equiangular triangles. Okay? okay, you can, can simply, simply say, say they, they are equiangular, equiangular triangles. triangles. Happy? Happy? Perfect. Perfect. Now, now we, we have, have been, been working, working with, with AB over, over DD D equals, equals um, AC, AC over, over DF. DF. Now, now we, need we need to work, to work with, with another one that corresponds with BC and, and uh, that, that, that is proportional, that is proportional to, to BC and, and E F. Okay? okay. So, so in, doing in doing that, that I, want I want us to, us to now, now do this. Do this. We, will we will now consider, consider having, having said, said that, that. Okay, okay, having said, said that, that, we have said that A G H is similar, similar to, to triangle A B C. So, so we can we therefore say, say let's look at G H over B C. Let's look at them together. Is G H Corresponding, corresponding to BC. Yes, yes, it is. is. Right? right? GH is corresponding, is corresponding to BC. BC. So we so are good, we are good, to, good go. to go. All right? right. Remember, basically, basically, we are looking, we are looking at triangle, triangle AGH, AGH and triangle, triangle ABC. C. So, so we're saying we say GH, GH over, over BC. BC. It's, it's correct. correct. What does it correspond to? It corresponds to AG over AB. Isn't it? It corresponds to AG over AB. When I see AG, you see now I'm seeing AG. I recall something about AG. So let me continue with this. GH over BCC. I remember we said whenever I see AG, I see DD. So I'm going to return DD. So this is equal to DD over AB. Why? Because, because I said, I said AG, AG is, equal is equal to, to DE. D. How? How? By construction. construction. All right? All right? By construction. construction. This, is, this how is how I came to this. this. All, right? All right? This is this how, is how I, came I came to this. this. Now, now, this would not necessarily, necessarily help me. me. But, but I am, I aware, am aware that, that I used, used AB over, note, AB over DD is equal to AC over DF. I don't, I don't need, need to, to use, use this, this anymore. anymore. And pay attention. The one, the one that, we're that we're dealing, we're dealing with right now, now it's no longer AP over DE. It's, it's DE over, over AP. AP. Meaning, this, this proportionality, proportionality is uh, inverted. Uh, inverted. What does denominator now becomes numerator? What does numerator now becomes denominator? It still means it still means the same thing. Okay? So I will not be working with this one here because I had worked with it here. Now, now, I'm going, I'm going to, take to take 
because, because I'm aware, I'm aware AB, AB over DE is, is equal to BC over EF, right? I'm going to take this. AB over DE is equal to BC over EF. So, so in place of DD over AB, I'm going to take the other one. Let's go. GH over BC is equal to EF over BC. Why am I saying that? I'm saying that because um, we are given that we are given that A B over D E is equal to B C over E F. Okay. So if you are slightly confused, I want you to remember this. We said we have A B over D E. It is equal to B C over E F. What you what do you on do the, on because the, this is an equation, equation. What, you what you do on the left hand side must, must be done on the right hand side. side. So, so this, this is similar, is similar to DE over, over AB, AB, which is which also is equal to EF over BC. Can you guys see that? Now, now let me go, go to the previous page. page. In the previous, previous page, we said DE D over, over AB. AB. Now, DE over AB, here is a DE over AB is. EF, EF over BC. BC. Happy? Happy? Perfect. Perfect. Now, now the, the, the BCs, BCs, as you, as can, you can see, see will cancel, cancel each other. Meaning, meaning, if you multiply, if you multiply by, by BC, BC throughout, throughout, what's going to happen? happen? You will be left, left with, with... Oh boy, oh boy. go back oh to the black color. color. You, you will be will left, left with, with GH equals... F. F. Right? right? G GH H equals E F. F. Now let me show you show something. something. G, G H equals E F. F. This, this is G H. H. We say it is, is equal to E F. F. Can you guys can see, that? see that? G H, H is equal to E F. F. A G is equal to D D. A H is equal to D F. F. Now corresponding sides are equal. That means we must use congruency. Okay? okay, let's go. Let's go. We, we must, must use congruency. congruency. Therefore, Therefore, we will we'll say triangle, triangle A, G, G H, H is congruent, congruent to triangle, triangle D, D, E, F. F. What's, the, What's reason? the reason? We use corresponding, corresponding sides, sides because corresponding, corresponding sides, sides are equal. equal. Right? right? Here, Here corresponding, corresponding sides, sides are equal. equal. So if so you're if wondering, you're wondering, since, since you're comparing, comparing sides, and how did you did come you about the fact that, that, that um, A, G, A, A, angle A, A is equal to angle D, D angle G is equal to angle E, angle H is equal to angle F, I will show you just now. You have said, I'm going to ask you, what is the sign G, H? We say G, H is equal to F. What is the what is angle, the angle that, that is corresponding, corresponding to A? A. The, side the side that is corresponding, and the angle that is corresponding, that is corresponding to GH is, is A. A. Let's go look at it. A. Here is it. It's, it's A. A. Now, now A, A. Uh, the, side uh, the side that corresponds, that corresponds to, to GH is EF. What is, what is the, the angle that is opposite, opposite D? D. The, the side, the angle that is opposite D is Sorry, Sorry, the, the, angle, the angle that is that opposite, is opposite side, side EF is angle D. D. Hence, Hence, the first the letter, letter I will take is a D. D. Let's go Let's to go G. G. Let's go Let's to G. G. This is this angle is G. G. What is what the is side that is opposite, is opposite G? G? The side, the side that, that is opposite G is, is A H. H. Right? right? The side, the side that, that is opposite G is A H. Now, what is the side that corresponds to A H? You said it is. D F. F. Now, now, what is, what the, is the angle, angle that, is op op that is opposite, opposite side D F? F. That, that angle, angle is E. e. So, so, meaning the meaning second, the second letter, letter will be E, then obviously the third will be the remaining. I hope you guys now understand how you get to this. Now, now having, having said, said this, this, we can therefore, can therefore conclude and say, oh, we said A G H is congruent to D E F. What does it mean? It also, it also means, means that, that triangle, triangle ABC, ABC and, and 
triangle D E F are equiangular, right? They are equiangular. You recall, whatever angle, uh, corresponding angles of triangle A G H were equal to those of triangle A B C. Now, not just that. Now we are also seeing the very same angles of A G H are also equal to those of triangle D E F. Oh, oh, so this, so this means, means corresponding, corresponding angles, angles of AGH are equal to that of DEF. We have said that corresponding angles of AGH are also equal to that of ABC. Come on, if, if that, is that is what we are saying, saying we can conclude, conclude, man. We can conclude and say, oh, therefore, triangle ABC is also similar to triangle to triangle D E F. Remember the rules of similarity of triangles. Corresponding angles are equal, and pairs of corresponding sides are in proportion. So you have now proven the one of the conditions of that theorem. I mean of similarity of triangles. So, so now, now we are done, done. we have we proved have this, this. And, and I hope, I hope you guys, guys will have, have fun. fun. Right? right? I, hope I hope you guys, guys will have, have fun. fun. And with and that, with that being, said, being said, I will I say, will to, say you, to you, it's a wrap. I will see, I will you, see you next time, next time for, for Pythagorean, Pythagorean theorem. theorem. And, and afterwards, afterwards, it is examples, examples, examples. So with that being said, thank you guys. See you next time. And... Bye.